We out here. Peanut. Tomboy day. Thirty-two-year-old Tiffany Ann Catherine Lucas. Tiffany Ann Catherine Lucas. She's a single white female, and recently, if you took a deep dive into her Facebook page, like I did, and you'll see at the end of this video, you might have thought of her as a loving single mother to six-year-old Maurice Baker Jr. and nine-year-old Jaden Howard, the cutest little boys ever. However, a shocking tragedy unfolded when both Maurice and Jaden had their lives stolen at the hands of their mom, allegedly, on November 8th, 2023, at their home in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. This afternoon about the Bullock County mother accused of murdering her two young sons. During today's hearing, a Bullock County detective spoke about his interview with Tiffany Lucas after she was taken into custody. He says Lucas made statements that this was an accident and says she would never do anything like this unless she was manipulated. Lucas showed no emotion during the hearing. She walked into the Bullock County Courthouse in handcuffs and an orange jumpsuit. Police say last week a neighbor found Lucas's two sons, six-year-old Maurice Baker Jr. and nine-year-old Jaden Howard shot inside Lucas's home on Bentwood Drive in Bullock County. Lucas is in jail on a $2 million bond. Tiffany has now been charged with two counts of murder because both of the boys died in a Louisville hospital. They were found by a neighbor, as you'll hear in the upcoming police dispatch. Now, police sent me a post-arrest complaint. It says that police were dispatched to this 213 Bentwood Drive house on a possible shooting of two suspects. Deputies arrived. They were advised there were two victims in the bedroom covered in blood. There was a gun on the bed. Both boys were taken to the hospital. They were in critical condition and then declared deceased. Okay, they got the chopsticks. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now, Tiffany had her preliminary hearing today, which is Tuesday, November 14th. And once again, like in her mugshot, like in her previous appearance, she didn't show any emotion. And thanks for joining us today at four. I'm Scott Reynolds. And I'm Fallon Glick. A Bullock County mother is behind bars charged with the murder of her two young children. Today, a judge set her bond at two million dollars. And we're still waiting to learn the names of those boys from the coroner's office. WDRB's Darby Bean shows us how the community is stepping up to honor these two young boys, just six and nine years old. Neighbors say they're shocked. The yellow tape is now gone, but there's candles and teddy bears outside for those little boys. Yeah, it really gets to you. It really tears you up. It's really sad, so sad. Wednesday afternoon, this home on Bentwood Drive in Bullitt County was marked off as a crime scene. The sheriff's office says two boys, six and nine years old, were shot. And the person now charged with their murders is their mother, Tiffany Lucas. It's part of the job, but it's the part that you dread, uh, the part that you hope that you go your entire career and never see. That tape is now picked up, but there are still cars driving by. This time, strangers getting out to leave something behind, saying they're here to show love. Felt like, you know, I had to let them know, whether in spirit or not, that, you know, and their family know that we're praying for them and, and hope that, you know, they get through this. It's going to be a long, hard road, but we're praying for them. And I have Tiffany. Lucas Thursday morning, less than 24 hours after police first got the call, Lucas was in court. Arms crossed, seen through a video screen from jail. A judge set her bond at two million dollars. Noting the charges specifically, uh, two class A felonies of murder, the court is finding her to be a danger to others. We've looked up Lucas's past and court records show she pleaded guilty to a drug charge in 2018. Those who are stopping by say they're glad to see others have brought toys and teddy bears too. I wasn't the only one feeling the pain for their families. Lucas is expected back in court next week. Reporting in Bullitt County with photojournalist Jeff Gordon, Darby Bean, WDRB News. Her hearing today took place right before 11 a.m. She wore the orange jumpsuit and she just seemed like almost a deer in headlights or dead eyes or something like she's not really there. She's being held in the Bullitt County Jail on a $2 million bond. 
so I don't think she's going anywhere anytime soon. According to WDRB, there was a Bullitt County detective, Richard Beal, who testified today. He said he interviewed Tiffany for about three hours after she was arrested. Oddly enough, Tiffany told the detective this was an accident. You know, how do you accidentally shoot your two sons? She's claiming she would never do anything like this unless she was manipulated, and she's going to blame it on weird stuff like Facebook or Wi-Fi or the internet. According to Detective Beale, he said, I asked Miss Lucas if she meant to hurt her children. She indicated that it was an accident. I don't think she's gonna get away with this. The detective asked Tiffany if someone had provided her the gun and she said yes. I'm not sure who. Tiffany told the detective she and her sons were the only ones in the house that day. And she also said, I'm so stupid. I'm in such a bad spot. I would never do anything like this unless someone manipulated me. According to the detective, Tiffany quote, made statements that she was being manipulated through Facebook through the internet or through Wi-Fi, through Facebook and through her Wi-Fi, being manipulated into doing what she did. That makes no sense, but once again, Tiffany was emotionless. And family members who did show up for the hearing today noticed it right away. Darrell Howard got the news his little brothers were dead. A neighbor found the boy shot in a bed inside their home on Bentwood Drive in Shepherdsville Wednesday morning. Police took the boy's mother, Tiffany Lucas, into custody at the scene, later charging her with murder. We wanted him. We would have took him up in arms. We loved him so much. Howard claims over the years, multiple family members had called CPS with concerns. He and nine-year-old Jaden shared the same father who died in 2019. Howard says that's when he became more involved in his brother's life and the life of Jaden's little brother, six-year-old Maurice, known as Peanut. And while the past few weeks were good ones, filled with trick-or-treating events, visits with their grandmother, and backyard water balloon fights, there are regrets. Because I should have did more. I should have, if it, if it came to me coming to snatch the boys out of the house, I should have did that. And I, and I would hold that, hold that on my back for the rest of my life, for both of them boys. On Thursday, Lucas faced a judge who set her bond at $2 million. Family says it's not nearly high enough. When asked what he would say to Lucas, Howard had this to say. You, you scarred everybody with this one. You scarred everybody with this one. He says now his only comfort is knowing the little boys who wanted to play football like their big brother are not alone. I just know Jaden and, and Peanut, I know they're together. And I know our father probably waiting on them, waiting on both of them. And you'll see when I do this deep dive into her Facebook page, she does make statements about, or she shared a post about baby daddies and maybe someone looking at her Facebook page. But Michelle Rice, who identified herself as the stepmother of Maurice Baker Jr. said, Tiffany showed no emotion. She shows no emotion. Michelle said she was there in court today because quote, I really want to support the boys, support Maurice Baker Jr. They didn't deserve this. They were so happy happy. Michelle does say that other family members, perhaps including herself, had reached out to Child Protective Services in the past to try and warn them, I guess, about Tiffany's condition as a mom. She said, we tried to help those boys. We reached out to CPS and they never helped us. They never helped those boys. I guess the reason they reached out is because Michelle said Tiffany was on drugs and Tiffany wouldn't accept any help from family members. Michelle said it is not a mental illness thing. She was on drugs. It's drugs. So many other people really love them and could have been there to help them, but she wouldn't allow that. She was too selfish and now they're gone. Indeed, when you see her Facebook page, there are plenty of selfies. She's like, I'm ready to fall in love. Tiffany is, she puts on this whole kind of black fishing thing and black scent and you just gotta see her videos. It's kind of strange and she's hurting. She's experienced some deaths herself. It was weird, but Michelle said that Maurice was in kindergarten. He loved playing soccer. He loved playing video games. He loved playing his video games. He loved animals. He was a big animal lover. He had two cats and a dog. He was always so happy. He was such a good little boy. Both of them were.
<laughs> Michelle said her family did have a relationship with Maurice's brother, Jayton, even though the boys had two different fathers. Michelle said they should both be here today, in school, going to school, learning, playing sports. And Michelle flatly rejects Tiffany's claims that someone coerced her into shooting the boys. Nobody can manipulate you to do such a horrific thing. Nobody can manipulate you to do that. That's yourself. Michelle said. Michelle and the family members plan to attend every court appearance, so there was one today. I couldn't find out when the next one will be, but I plan to follow this case. Until this case is closed, the family plans to be there. The community has rallied together for these little boys. They've left candles, stuffed animals. It makes me think of Matthew 1914, where Jesus said, suffer the little children and forbid them not to come unto me. That's where they are now, for such is the kingdom of heaven. It's not that Jesus wanted necessarily, of course, this to happen. God doesn't want a tragedy like this to happen. But I did take a deep dive into Tiffany's Facebook page. Her Instagram is private. As soon as I heard of this case, I kept digging into it and I really dove deeply into Facebook. At some points I got confused because as you'll see, one of the boy's brothers is a lot older guy. So they share the same father, but it's such a strange age difference. And one of the baby's fathers is deceased. So there was a lot of confusion when I was going through Tiffany's Facebook page and trying to figure out who was who. But she did share a post on Facebook about, you know, baby's fathers not doing what they're supposed to do. So I don't know if she has some type of ought or ill will against, you know, the the surviving baby's father and her wanting to do everything and not accepting any help well you do see a lot of videos where like she's dressing up in costumes with the boys for halloween or you'll see her taking the boys out to eat or to different events you would think oh well this is a mom who's doing it all who loves her boys easter wait i think peanut is spider-man yeah. no this is Ooh, this is your shade in. What do you think? I like it. What about you, P? Look. I like it. Okay. Wait, I wanna But it's this that's why Craft House Pizza with my name. What is it? Bussin. Bussin, right P? Mm-hmm. Look, they drew me pictures. Why would she snap like this and harm them? It's horrible. You, you hate to think of the fear of those boys. You just pray they went quickly and didn't suffer. And you think about, oh no, which one went first? What terror did they see? But Tiffany sounds like she's going to play the card of, I don't know, you know, something was talking to me through Facebook or what is she trying to say? Something evil or some other person was manipulating her? You'll see coming up on Facebook where it seems like she's directing her anger at another woman. Like she's saying, don't worry, like me and him, we share a whole human being, we share a whole child together, so of course we're going to still be talking to each other, but we don't want each other anymore. So it sounds like the kind of post she would direct at her baby's father's new woman, her son's new stepmother. But is that why she did it? Did she take both of these boys away just to hurt other people? And it's odd she didn't take herself out. Sometimes people perform these tragedies like Chris Watts, they do it to move on or they do it to harm others. She took the boys away, but she didn't harm herself. Oh, what's up? Mm -hmm. ah, give me this. Oh, he's so sweet. Aww. Hey, Blue. What are you doing? Are you loving on me? What's Say good morning. Me, Blue. <laughs> Blue. Blue. Okay. And now she's kind of in this blank expression walking around the courtroom and the jail and if it was drugs, is she detoxing now? Is it all coming out of her system? Life goes on and changes. Will she really understand what she did? 
I know she complains about gaining weight at certain points through Facebook, but uh, you'll see. She's really into herself. It's the type of Facebook page where she's into her image and aren't I a great mom? I guess she wanted the image of I'm doing this all on my own and here's selfie after selfie after selfie and it gets strange. A strange case, but I am intrigued and praying those little cute boys get justice. One of them, his nickname is Peanut, so you'll hear her call them different names and stuff. Stuff, but if only she could have reached out for help or accepted help from all these family members that wanted to help her. Then the boys could be alive and live the lives they deserve to grow up and live and it wasn't her right to take them away. Thanks for watching. Watch all this deep dive and all the dispatch info. They wouldn't give me the body cam stuff yet until the case is more resolved. So stay tuned. Attention is on fire on the medical run with EMS. Box number A1-111, respond to 219 Bentwood Drive, 219 Bentwood Drive. For a 30-year-old female that fell unconscious, she is breathing, unknown medical history. She's in and out of consciousness. Fire one for your operation, due time at 1103. Attention is on fire on a medical call with EMS on station one. Box number A1-111, respond to 219 Bentwood Drive, 219 Bentwood Drive, cross street of Bentwood Drive. For a 30-year-old female that's unconscious, she is breathing, unknown medical history, she's in and out of consciousness, Fire one free operations, your time at 1103. There's an additional call for service from 213 Millwood Drive advising there's possibly two juveniles involved in a shooting at this address. This female's possibly related, PD, and that's your route. We're okay. Thank you. Radio 916 for a shooting with injury, Millwood Drive. 16, Shepherdville. 233 Benwood Drive. Two juveniles laying on the bed covered in blood. There is a gun on the bed. Male is breathing. There is a shell casing on the bed next to the gun. Where was that? It's 213 Bentwood Drive. 213 Bentwood Drive. Well, I guess responding to Bentwood Drive. Just be advised. Both juveniles are unconscious, covered in blood. They are breathing. 702, who's actually calling for sin? It's a neighbor that went over and found the kids. We're advising two juveniles, or we're being advised two juveniles possibly injured. One does have a bullet wound at this time. Shots fired in the area of Maryland Way. Caller just heard two shots in the area of the call. Call with EMS. Respond to 213 Bentwood Drive, 213 Bentwood Drive. Box number 81-111. Advising there's two juveniles on scene. Possible gunshot wounds. None on further at this time. Fire on three operations, your time out of living with. Two juveniles, possible gunshot wound, unknown further at this time. Fire on three operations, your time out of living with. They were trying to get information there. Very hysterical. On scene. On scene, 1112. Next officer in, I need to go to the right of the house. There's a few of them down. I believe the mother is on the ground. I'm not sure if she's alive. The gentleman is not saying the mom is going to be our shooter, so I'm going to be out here with her. You must be. We have two children with gunshot wounds. 77, you have a squad. You can send us for a child with gunshot wounds. Radio to all units on Bentwood. Whoever is transporting with EMS, they're going to have a route planned by LMPD for y'all. Going up Preston to Gene Snyder, down to 65, down to the 136 head for the hospital. I just scrolled through this entire Facebook page of this woman, Tiffany Lucas. She took the lives of her two young beautiful sons and I'm finding some clues perhaps as to why she might have done it. She speaks or she shares a post in here about baby daddies so I think she's mad at one of her children's fathers perhaps. But just less than two weeks ago, October 31st, may the force be with you. She's dressed up like Princess Leia. And you would think she'd be the perfect mom. But obviously there was a lot hidden underneath people didn't know about. This is the one that gave me a clue. October 19th, she felt strongly enough about this post to share it. 
Sorry, but a baby's daddy can be bitter too. Not helping financially because you and the mom aren't on good terms. Not helping physically or helping with pickup from practices and daycare. Not wanting to create a set schedule for your kids. Constantly trying to make things harder for the mom. Halfway doing stuff, picking and choosing, etc. All that is bitter. But y'all ain't ready for that conversation yet. So people are thinking, oh... Is this why she's angry? Boys! Peanut! It very well could be. I believe there might be two different baby's fathers here. This just happened and I'm trying to get as much information as possible. They say she was pretty cold in her latest court appearance. I'm going to scroll past the ones that contain photos of other people. But on September 30th, she spoke about turning 32 on Monday. Where has the time went? Beyond grateful and blessed. Happy to celebrate with my favorites. She talked about giving away shoes, I guess. She doesn't have the time with Peanut's birthday and packing and organizing. Apparently, she moved from Chicago at some point to Kentucky. Check my story out. Tons for sale and free. First come first go. She talked about family is everything. Happy birthday to the woman who made our family possible. No us without you. She changed her profile picture. Always serving class with my fine A. When women post photos like this and, I don't know, try and compliment themselves, to me it just speaks of insecurity. And there's the cute little boys. They're so adorable. Changed her profile picture again. Tomboy day period, she said. They are adorable. The youngest boy, his hair was longer in older photos. The chopsticks, okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but they're so cute. Okay. Or okay. So since I can't go all the way back up north, I'm releasing balloons for my dad. And I love him so much. And I hope you have the best spot. They didn't have Father's Day balloons, but I got a smile on my face because you always make me smile. And a flower because you always bought me flowers. I found a broken bottle. Be grateful if your father is here. Be present in his life. Mend relationships. You never know. I watch my son struggle without his, and we struggle without mine. So be grateful. My dad was alive and would come visit me. I would always bring him here. So she talks about losing her own father, but she spoke of at least one of her sons struggling without his father. So she's speaking of Jaden's dad, Darrell. She's wishing him a happy Father's Day. So I'm assuming her other son is the one his dad she might have a problem with. And I think one of them has spoken out, actually. That must be her dad, Darrell. But he was pretty young then. Does that say 1980? So he was only 39? Maybe that's not her dad. It's not clear. Oh, I see now. Happy Father's Day to her father, John, and to Jaden's dad, Darrell, who's gone. Okay, so one of her baby's fathers has passed away, apparently. She called them her lifeline, her heartbeat. Her everything, her kings, that's a little too much to put on any human being. There's Peanut when he had longer hair, his first medal, and Jaden played and he won two games but lost the last championship game. He was angry, no pictures of him due to that. Can't wait till baseball. She says every day is Mother's Day in my world. I can only thank God for blessing me with the most, I guess she means, respectful, compassionate, strong, silly, emotional, overprotective, obsessive, 
loving young kings that call me mommy, mom, and mama. I don't think I would know how to smile, love, or survive if it wasn't for them. Even on our bad days, they shower me with an abundance of love. Always together, never apart. Three souls, one heart. So it's interesting she took their lives, didn't take her own. Not that she should have. She shouldn't have done any of this. My handsome mans. So sad. I feel like falling in love. She's going to speak about feeling bad about gaining weight. Oh, what's up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, Lou. What are you doing? Are you loving on me? What? Say good morning. Me too. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Okay. Really cute puppy. They were in a museum. They were eating pizza here. But it's this that's why Craft House Pizza with my name. What is it? Bussin. Bussin, right, Pete? Mm -hmm. Look, they drew me pictures. So adorable. What could have happened to make her make such a horrible decision? This is Easter. Wait, I think Peter is Spider-Man. Yeah. No, this is not cool. This is cool. Ooh, this is your shade in. What do you think? I like it. What about you, Pete? Look. I like it. Okay. Wait, I want to... Uh. So this is where she talks about her weight gain. I'm not going to lie. I've been so self-conscious and hard on myself about my weight gain. I have been not posting because of how uncomfortable I've been. Seriously, you would think I posted a nude picture with as many compliments and messages I have gotten. It's insane. I wasn't looking for any attention and I genuinely appreciate all the kind words. Yes, I've gained weight. No, I'm not pregnant. So there's a lot of photos like this. So cute. Obviously, they did a lot of activities. She gave some thanks to her uncle D and Melissa for being there, always welcoming me from being in grade school and spending weekends to having kids and spending weekends. We had a great time on the boat. The sun wore us down and out. Love that the boys and baby girl get to have memories together from their video chats to play dates and holidays. We love you all so much. Ohana time.
She shared some things about not being hard on yourself or feeling lost and confused. These stupid little Facebook games. We can't really see what she shared here. Something used to break her down. Now it builds her up. My sons won't doubt their mom ever in life. She has baby fever, her love child, baby blues. I swear I'm going to have more children upon God's will. She's bragging on her beautiful mom. She adores her and some of her profile photos you'll see she talks about how dark she's gotten that sunlight and tanning has me looking dark but i'm so happy with life and the energy is great over here some people would call this black fishing online especially a photo like that where it's not necessarily just all tanning could be some kind of filter. Happy Easter. Ride or die until the wheels fall off. It's been up and stuck before Cardi my whole heart. <sighs> that doesn't really, that's not really appropriate, <laughs> you know. I don't know, when you know that song, to, it's just weird. A weird reference. Happy birthday, Jaden. My heart's first feel. I love you. This, just a glimpse. We had a great weekend. Yeah. That's for me? Yeah. Yeah, what else for me? This is for me too? Ooh. Open it, open it, open okay. It. I take no offense to the people living different lives than me. I don't understand others' lifestyles and don't expect anyone to understand mine. That is the thing, though. Others feel so dignified on gossiping instead of tending to their own issues. Everyone's life has some type of conflict in it, so why pick at others instead of focusing on fixing you? If it makes you feel better, stay entertained. And her cat's gone. Oh, she's mourning her cat. Can't sleep in that same bed, she said. All these kids and animals. Oh, it's like a tribute to her animal. We 10 years in. He been holding me down. She's saying that God speaks to her daily because this verse is about loving your enemies. Luke 6.35 But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for He is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. A lot of photos of her and her sons. Time affects everyone differently. Time heals some and destroys others. She's endured pain and struggles. She'll never hide her love for God. She's up watching her boys sleep. Fear doesn't live here. Be yourself. There's no one better. Growth is the purpose of life. A little late, but this year we were caught up in the holiday, in the moment, in the a moment, and holiday enjoying it. Revelations 3.11, I am coming soon. Hold fast what you have so that no one may seize your crown. That's a good verse. And she switches over to Lil Dirk. I seen my chance. That's when I grabbed it. She said that's probably why she's single. This was back in 2020. Cry baby. More lyrics, I assume. I've been looking at the sun. I can't worry. Man, I got the best. I can't worry. She just seems really into herself. When I see videos and selfies like that, I feel like the person's really into themselves. Or just insecure. This run is so personal. Happiness. No makeup. Just lips by the best. Blue strips. Blue phones. Now you know what's going on. Will be a post where she's talking about her baby's daddy or if someone's creeping on her 
profile. She's saying we have a whole human together. We share this human. Of course, we're going to talk, but, you know, we're never getting back together. Don't worry. We'll find that one. This one says leveled up and only look back in pictures. Simply the best, better than the rest. Eye doctor went great for Jaden. Me, on the other hand, she calls herself blind. Unapproachable, not approachable, discouraging intimacies. Rich B vibes. I don't know about that. And she's wishing someone a happy birthday. So we checked the doorstep and this was added. I ordered online and I don't know if anyone else has tried this. Hello, delicious meals. But it literally. She survived. She's hurt so much as a family. Back then, she needed movers. There's a profile video. So I guess this happened four years ago. The world's best father. And such a great man all around. Our son's hurt. I believe that's when her father passed. Or maybe that's her son's father. It's hard to know. Her son's birthday. So she calls herself a heavyweight and a dream girl who's having a swimming party again talking about her mom her love baby fever say a prayer for her family she misses hooters girls days brotherly king love big tiff she said 142 pounds basically is looking good on her Darrell was such a great fun dad he's the one that must have passed on Darrell let Jaden drive Darrell let Jaden drive what what could he drive and that's the one who broke his leg oh, this is haunting all I know in this life of sin is they gonna ride for each other until the end two boys they're hugging each other in front of this memorial and knowing they're gone now now this is where she talks more about her weight happiness is a lifestyle and so is positive mental health I weigh 138.6 and that's big for me who's always been 102 100 13 pounds. I love it and I'm learning to love myself more and more and God's blessing me more and more. I don't have it all but the energy and drive God's been giving me lately to get it. No one's stopping me. Stay healthy and happy. Some stuff we just won't see. A lot of it is kind of redundant. Her praising her sons. That's her praising her firstborn. Mr. Perfect, love child, Jaden will be six tomorrow. This was more than three years ago, so Jaden was nine, apparently. She's mad, she got food, and should have been rib tips and baked potatoes, but they sent her some chopped mutton or something. Just makes you wonder why. Their personalities to a T. This is the one that got me and why people are sharing it. I cannot understand how these parents are abusing their children, torturing them, selling 11-year-old little girl for heroin, allowing the fathers or boyfriends to have their way with them, looking the other way in disbelief, like, wow, my heart hurts so bad. I just wish I could save all these poor children. God, please protect our children. They are our futures. What a weird, ironic thing to say from the woman who's charged with taking her own sons off of this earth but she posted about valentine's can come late i'm just saying so she must have wanted these nikes she's so obsessed with her young kings so when it comes to them i'll still catch a whole bit though well she this was pretty accurate she caught a bit but she caught it because she's accused of being the one who has hurt them just don't even like their pictures anymore type nothing basically so that's weird they're everything to her and maybe that's why she took them away maybe she felt like she owned them maybe she felt like she had complete control over them this is the one psa whoever's lurking my page for my son's father it's pointless you're not getting brownie points sis he's using you nine out of ten i guess and on the run you're fleeing an fbi work maybe paying you 
lard? But nothing's forever, sis. Plus, we share a whole human, so we're gonna communicate whether it's good terms or terrible terms for life. Go to sleep, unbothered. I'm not looking his way. He's not looking mine. We done done. We run and tell it, shorty. So if there's some woman messing around with her baby's dad and lurking on Tiffany's page, she had a message for her. One year later, I'm still torn, hurt, damaged learning life without you and others i'm tired dad so she lost her dad she gets so happy when people give her validation to cut them off the tent man tented her windows really dark she can't keep looking at the same negative people complain stalkers in these fake pages you was already mad i'm just adding something to that a positive energy christmas humans be real life miserable i'm not humans i'm happy young kings run this she doesn't play again about her young kings and she was so over death in 2019 her whole world and heart it's hard to stay low when everybody notices Oh, I don't know if women like this know how they come off when they post stuff like that. I came from nothing I could never lose. At least she called them her biggest accomplishments and biggest blessings. Who's in Miami? Sun, sun, sun. I'm lady boss. I'm everything you want but can't have. Singing a little Billie Eilish, I'm the bad type, might seduce your dad type. Every lesson followed with blessings, terrible at goodbyes, heartbreak. It can't be real, the world's best father and such a great man. Our son's hurt. This was 2019. Life's not fair, why him? I'll never get over this one, can't stop crying. The audacity of people, park flow, momming. <laughs> There's a lot of animosity, but they won't say my name. Your baby graduated. That's when Jaden broke his leg. More profile pictures. I just want to be a better mother, a harder worker, the best friend, the best woman. A sanctuary to my man. Happy weight on fleek. She shared, y'all men keep passing up on women who just want to pray and play with you, but you'd rather have the bees that be spending your money while making you look stupid. That's what the F you get. You deserve what the F you get. Sounds angry blurred lines but you get the picture health is wealth she misses her dad boy what's gonna happen with this case the fear of the lord that is wisdom and to shun evil is understanding she has to have the gucci bag right there she was going through missing her dad she talks about wearing pain well and this is the one where she really looks like she's black fishing go peanut tis the season Excuse me, honey, but nobody's in my lane. Birthday was different this year. I'm humble and working on happiness. But yes, 27 has me feeling like I'm in my prime. Two kids and all. Jaden had strep throat, I guess she means, or would have been right here with us. So, what's this? Five years ago, 27. She must be 32 now. Birthday celebrations. Son, love child, forever falling in love. Sneak peek. I'm gonna be positive. What's up, y'all? We out here. Hey. Peanut. Hey. Hey. We out here swimming. Me and the key. What y'all doing? It's really nice over here. Oh, me and my fat daddy. Mm. Say what's up? Mm. He wants to go in the water. My daughter is the way she's taking pictures too. She reminds me of the cash me outside. How about that girl? <laughs> So back then, this was her Insta, it's private now. It was some kind of show she was in. This case is just so sad. She needs a tattoo artist, she needs a handyman. Look at those cute little boys, destined for greatness, she wrote. Sleep, baby, but not on me. If you're praying on my demise, you're gonna be on your knees forever. God got me. 
I level up every time God says so. She talks about the police, and I think this is going to be about it. And that's it.